Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I got this makeup look. I have no words for it. Dramatic? Probably. I went into this not knowing at all what I was doing. I knew I wanted to use like grays and blues, um, and I had a bunch of new products, and I just kind of wanted to like throw everything together and just go at it. Alright, so if you want to see how I got this makeup look, keep watching. <laughs> I look crazy right now. Um, okay, so basically I'm wearing the Desio contacts in um, creamy beige because I thought it would look really cool with this look, but if it irritates my eyes, I might have to take them out because it's really sunny and for some reason my eyes are more sensitive to the sun when I wear them. All right. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna kind of go with it. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this um, palette by Coastal Scents. It's the Revealed Smoky palette. I really like the packaging on this, it's very cool. Um, and I'm gonna go in with this brown color right here, but I might mix it with like a little bit of this gray color on the top, this dark gray, just to begin. And I'm gonna go into that with um, my furless uh, blending brush and just go straight into the crease. And I'm not really gonna worry about this being too crisp or clean or blended because I'm gonna really smoke it out today. Like, really smoke it out. All right, so we're looking really messy. I'm gonna take my MAC 217 brush and I'm gonna go in to these two colors right here in the same palette. I'm gonna use this like gunmetal gray and this blue. Just mix them together. Okay, so basically I just went in with my Real Techniques shading brush and took those same um, colors and went along my lower lash line really quick. Okay, so now I'm going to take this uh, NYX Beauty School Dropout Palette. Uh, this is The Graduate. They also have the Freshman and the Alumni, which is like fucking glorious. Um, and I'm going to take this like this dark gray kind of shimmery shade and then this blue shade down here. And I'm gonna mix those and then I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, we'll see. I'm gonna take this uh, Sigma Medium Sweeper brush, it's the um, E54 and I'm gonna go into those shades and I think I'm just gonna like pack them on the lid, just covering the lid completely. Actually, I'm gonna focus them on the outer corner. Just pressing them onto the outer corner of the lid. Make sure you tap off your brush because you're probably gonna have some fallout. So I'm gonna take my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to just kind of like buff out the edge that I just laid down. So it's not so harsh. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that blue from the NYX um, Beauty School Dropout palette and just go back into the inner corner. And by inner corner, I mean outer corner. I'm gonna take this like, uh, what do you call this? It's like a gray, but it's kind of got taupe undertones um, from that same NYX palette. And I'm gonna go into like the hollow of my eye right in here. And bring that right up to my eyebrow. Dude, that's an awesome color. I'm gonna use my MAC 217 to kind of like blend that out. I'm gonna take that same color on my uh, Sigma Medium Sweeper brush and I'm gonna just kind of like really smoke out my lower lash line with it. Oh, if metallic is such a good idea underneath my eyes, but I'm doing it. Okay, I'm gonna take this uh, single shadow from Painted Earth Skincare. They have a cosmetic line and this is sky blue. It's so incredible. I'm gonna put that on with my um, Sigma Medium Sweeper brush. This looks so cool. Okay, I'm hopping around a lot here, but I'm going to take 
this, I don't know how to show it to you, Revolver from the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. And I'm gonna take that on my furless blending brush and I'm gonna like just add a little bit more definition. I'm gonna focus it a little bit in the crease in the like very inner corner. And then I'm gonna take that same color on my Sigma Medium Sweeper brush and just darken up this outer corner and then take my furless brush and just blend it out a little bit. All right, I wanna highlight my uh, brow bone and inner corner and I think I'm gonna mix like this frosty blue color from the NYX palette and then this top white color maybe a little bit of this gray and i'm going to use my i don't know what this is i think this is a um i think this is by cosmetics um with a q it's their pencil brush but i'm going to use this to highlight my inner corner i'm going to line my like my water line and all around my eye with this um painted earth skincare super wear gel liner in mystic 05 it's just like a it's kind of just like a gunmetal gray um, but it's got shimmer. I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but I'm just gonna go into my waterline and just kind of like all the way around my eye. It's a nice formula. It's very creamy. Okay, so now I look crazy. Um, so I'm going to take this. Yeah, I'm gonna take this um, smudge brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to go into Revolver um, from the Vice 2 palette, Urban Decay. And I'm just gonna pat that over that liner and then smudge it out. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the top lash line. This liner is really nice. It's just super creamy and it's easy to manipulate. I'm having a really easy time smoking it out. Seems like it would be a good base for shadow too. I'm gonna use my furless blending brush and I'm gonna go back in to my smoky palette and I'm going to mix these two. Uh, I'm gonna mix these two shades right here and just smoke out my lower lash line. You're probably like, isn't it smoky enough? No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm looking pretty slick. All right, I'm going to take this uh, glitter by Star Crushed Minerals. It's in prompt blue. I'll put that somewhere. Um, I'm going to apply it with, I'm gonna make it stick with this NYX glitter primer. This is brand new. So I'm gonna put a little bit of it on the back of my hand. I'm gonna just take it on my finger. I'm gonna go in the center of the lid and just tap it. And I'm gonna apply the glitter with my finger. And I'm gonna focus it in the center of the lid. Like the center to slightly the outer corner. Does that make sense? Okay, so I just curled my lashes and applied a quick coat of the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And, and for lashes, I'm going to use the Pink Mink Lashes in the style My Marina. You can't see them, they fell down, but I'm gonna put them on my eyeballs. Why do I always say that? I was gonna wear bottom lashes, but I just don't have the time for that. Like, I just don't have the patience, so I'm just gonna coat my lower lashes with some mascara. So I don't know if you guys can but I got a little bit of blue fallout down here and then um, I just took an orange shadow and went over it and then a little bit of a lighter shadow and um, I think it's gone. I won't be able to tell until I see it like you know the footage but there's literally blue fallout all over my face and there's glitter everywhere. All right so this is the finished look. Sorry if this was like super haphazard. I had literally had no idea what I was doing and um, just kind of took a bunch of new products and threw them in front of me and 
went at it so i apologize but i think it came out like really cool and i'm into it so um i hope you enjoyed if you liked it give this video a thumbs up uh if you have any suggestions for future videos leave them down below yeah so i'll see you soon I use the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, and that should stain. Red pigment, stain. Yeah, whatever. It's a little crazy. Ooh, it's in my eyeball. Uh, so I just went at it. I need to take a fix of this right now. What? <sighs> what? Shh, shh, shh. Ow! Get off my face. Get off my face. Off my face! Alright, that's my cue. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done.